Hi everybody, it's Good Friday. Um, we call it good not because it was good for Jesus, but because it's good for us. It's a great deal for us. Because Jesus experienced a separation um, that we ourselves as sinners deserved um, so that we can receive the reconciliation with God. I've said this before, but you know, when you have like right now, I have light coming through the window. And uh, if this room were completely dark, if it was shaded, and uh, I could, so there was no light anywhere, coming anywhere, it would be completely dark. But as soon as I lifted up that shade on a day like this today, um, the darkness would be gone. The two cannot exist together, at least not that I know of. Um, so... The same thing is true with God and us. We, uh, as sinners, sin and righteousness can't live together. Uh, at least they couldn't until now. And so in order for us to be in God's presence, the light, well, we as darkness would have to be destroyed. Just like the darkness has to be destroyed when I open up that shade. And so the only way for us to be connected with God and his righteousness is if we have an intermediary, if we have someone who comes in and is between us and God and takes the darkness from us and brings the a light of God to us. So that the barrier, you know, back in when Jesus died, the cloth that separated the... Um, the inner sanctum of the temple, the Holy of Holies, from where other people could be was ripped in two. And that's a way of saying that now God and humans can be together because of what Jesus has done on the cross. The barrier separating man from God has been ripped away by God so that the hell-deserving sinners, that's us, could be welcomed safely into the presence of an infinite, holy, um, righteous, light God. Um, so that's why it's Good Friday for us, because on this day, we um, received righteousness. We received Christ's righteousness. We receive his holiness, and we become holy, forgiven, um, wholly uh, loved by God through Jesus Christ. That's what Good Friday is all about. So this is a good day to think about, first of all, your sin. You know, um, it's always good to be honest. I mean, nothing changes until we get honest with ourselves. But think about our sin. And then... Um, Think about the tremendous love and forgiveness that God chose to give us through his son, Jesus Christ, as he dies today, Good Friday, on the cross for us, for our sins. Well, God bless. Have a great day. I hope you'll come and uh, worship in one way or another with us this evening for Good Friday. Uh, I think I, I have a great sermon, and um, also we have a a really one of the most powerful, impactful services that I know of as we write down our sins on a piece of paper and as we nail it to the cross and go out in the courtyard and burn those uh, sins so that they are gone forever. I hope you'll join us. If you can't join us in person, join us uh, online at uh, BethelWindsor.com. God bless. Have a wonderful and very blessed, good Friday.